So we're here now at Tarleton, and um, this just here is the River Douglas. It's on low tide now. It's eight o'clock on the night before we go out, and um, yeah, it's like a muddy ditch. It seems it's uh, pretty low. I can't make out which way it's actually flowing at the moment, whether it's coming in or not. But um, it's high tide tomorrow is when we go. I think it's half past nine when we go tomorrow, and um, it's the boat yard just over there, and um, we're more just there. And the boat in front of us, the blue one, that's going with us tomorrow. And I think there's two more to come up. Um, I don't think that little black one in front of the, in that cruiser is going. But uh, I think there's two more, that, maybe more where we moored last night, that are coming up tomorrow to go out with us. And, um, and the lock is just up. There's a load of boats just up there. I think the lock is just beyond that. Um, we, could, we tried to walk to it today, but we couldn't see how we got to it. We couldn't, we couldn't walk along this towpath here. We had to, um, we, we, had, we got so far and then there was a, a gate so we, uh, we're not quite sure exactly what it's like but the CRT guy came down this morning and uh, told us we're going at half past nine and uh, not to worry about the red light as you go into Savick Brook because the bulb's gone <laughs> apparently so there's no green light um, usually you could only go through if there's a green light but um, no it's uh, that's not working but we need to phone when we get when we see the light we need to phone the CRT to make sure it's okay to go and I think that's only, um, they don't let you go if the level's too low and you might ground and not make it up the brook. So I think it's a time issue really. So hopefully we'll get, get a move on tomorrow and we'll, uh, we'll get there in time. Otherwise we've got to go into Preston Docks. Tarleton. Tarleton. Visitors Moorings. Visitors Moorings to go off out onto the River Link. A little bit apprehensive. <laughs> a little bit apprehensive because it looks like we're going first. There's three boats, the one behind us hasn't never done a big tile on the river before. <laughs> behind us. Yeah, they're quite experienced, that's it, but they'd rather stay behind because they've got a small range. They know what those novices are. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're off. Yeah, so it's 20 past nine. Got a short trip up to the lock. Could be there for half past. And then. To the yeah, on the Douglas. Which has um, got an incoming tide. So, we're actually going out on an incoming tide. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, you've so got to gun it. See any pictures of Blackpool Tower on this video? Whatever it's, it's all gone horribly wrong. It's all gone horribly wrong. I'm sure we've got it. Yeah, we're well prepared, we've serviced the engine, changed the gearbox oil, checked the weed out, watched a lot of vlogs, watched a lot of vlogs, read, read the skipper's guide, guide. Time <laughs> got all the telephone, <laughs> exchanged telephone numbers with the two boats that are travelling with us. So, um, telephone numbers of all the Coast Guard, yeah. 999, <laughs> International <laughs> Rescue. <laughs> All that lot. Where's Neil and Jane when you need them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's them to rescue us, don't we? Yeah. No, we rescue them. But the and then they us. rescue us. <laughs> <laughs> In the same mission. Yeah. So we don't know those shenanigans today. We're just going to have a nice, gentle cruise. It's, not, it's a lovely day. Actually, it's a bit of a white, white fucking cloud in the sky, you can see, but it's still and it's warm. But we've just wrapped up a little bit just in case when we get out in the open water, it's a bit cold. Yeah. So yeah, here we go. Here we go. Lovely old working barge there called Caradine. We've seen quite a few why nots, haven't we? I don't know about that one, but yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, Did you know the rest of it? Yeah. This one over here, this barge, yeah. yeah. Fishing boats, these? Yeah, it, it goes to about 65 towards 80, but then it sort of flutters around still. Yeah, these are fishing boats, aren't they? That's the that's the name of the 
first boat we hired. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, in the, um, the Oxford. Oxford. Yeah. But we crashed. <laughs> <laughs> 35 foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, did. we managed to crash Oops. that. <laughs> we should have. Uh, we should have learned a lesson from that, really. Yeah, there's all sorts of boats here. I suppose some of these they've got to go out to sea, don't they? I would imagine these are nice. Yeah. Say it's quite how you come out of the canal lock and um, all of a sudden you're somewhere where boats can go to sea and you see like you know, yachts like this and uh, all sorts of different craft. It's quite interesting after, after being on the canal for so long to come out and see uh, all these different sea going boats as well as little little still tubs like we're, we're on. But it's calmed down a bit now. We've been going for what? About three quarters of an hour? Oh, 25 minutes. Yeah, so you, you might just see there's a bit of wash on the front there. We're doing about 2,000 revs. I think Casey, we're doing about 2. Point, what are we doing? 2.3? 2.8 now. 2.8 knots we're doing now. So it's, it, it must be calming down because we're doing the same revs, and yet we're um, we're going faster against the tide. So it must be calming down. Yeah, yeah. So we're a bit more relaxed now than we were when we first came out. It wasn't too bad, but it was. It was certainly uh, pushing it a bit. Well, it's squeaky boards, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Ye
Uh, that's called, called Fruitcake. Uh, there's a couple Jonathan and Allison on that boat. So we're just coming towards the um, end of the Douglas or Has Haslam yeah. River, depends on which you call it. Um, over there is the Irish Sea. You can just see the, you might be able to just see the end of the buildings over there. And then we're going that way, but we have to go left before we can go right. coming up. There's fruit cake behind it. And we're just 
just going past the three mile marker here. So they're quite distinct, you can see quite clearly they're marked with the miles. I think it's the distance from Preston Dock. So that's what you're looking out for when you come down through here. This is the three mile one and um, we want to we want to be turning shortly after the two mile one. So probably about another quarter of an hour or so. the Millennium Ribble Link private navigation but we're allowed in eh? this it and here's the welcoming committee navigating our way through the green and the red posts that guide us through this well seems quite a narrow channel compared with being on the ribble but um, I think it gets a lot narrower than this as we get further up but, um, it's just all like marshland around us here and the channel going through it did you see the red light? no I didn't see the red light at all but it did say it's a job to see sometimes in the sunlight but uh, Oh yeah, so it's just like just in the distance there where that red sign is, could possibly be the lock. Yeah. 
see where the um, tide has actually lowered so we can actually now get all So we're now actually fully on the um, on the link uh, that's not tidal. So we've just come through Lock 8, which is uh, it takes us from here onto the canal then, not the canal breaking our stop. Looks a lot prettier on the outside than what it does on the inside. Yeah. We don't on this side. It is the motorway. Oh, a bit touch and go that one. Not sure it is a motorway actually. Oh yeah. There's our volunteers to help us. Oh, I think we'll get under that. No, it's an air road. We'll get under that pole. Passing the golf course here. It's hole nine, par four, hundred three hundred and sixty six yards. We have been hit by a golf ball, we was advised by the lock keepers we might do. Luckily, the guys there uh, just finished tea off, so uh, yeah, so uh, we're okay. Safely through that bit onto lock six, isn't it? Lock six. Going underneath the road bridge now. This is number four. Rail bridge, and then this is number three is the road bridge. And then we've got to go around to the right and reverse in. We just had a bit of an argument about where we should be. I think I'm right. <laughs> Kate thinks she's right, but I think we should reverse in. So this side of the boat here is against the lock wall. So as you go through here now, over here to our right, where we've got to be I think. And then we reverse back in. 
let's see how we go. This is bridge two. Here we go. Starting to come in now. Oh, rope secured on here, so not too bad. Please go away from the front. 